um, I've tried this video about 12 different times. Each time has been a fail. Mm. But, uh, <laughs> um, Kirsten made this letter thingy on quote V and like told us what, like, we meant to her and stuff. So, I decided to do a video version. And I'm a lot less awkward on paper. So, yeah. I come up with better words when I'm writing, but I'm a little too tired to write. Because I went to school orientation today. And I'm like dying of exhaustion. But, uh. So, um, here's Cassia and Chance. I'm a romance writer, so I don't really know how to explain this without making it sound creepy, because I don't really write friendship stories. <laughs> um, find the words to say before you leave me today. Um, okay, all of you at once, because I'll end up repeating the same thing for everybody. But, um, you guys are my best friends. You keep me sane. Well, as sane as I'm gonna get. <sighs> you understand most of me. Not all of it. Nobody understands ever anybody completely. But, um,. Yeah, it's kind of nice to find someone with the same interests. You guys understand how it is to be a writer and love one direction. And one of you I'm not sure about, but I think all of you believe in God. And I think two of you are Christians. I don't know about the other one. But it's kind of nice to find someone who understands that you can love God and still love one direction, even though they're not exactly a Christian band. And you can write about them without being, you know, crazy obsessed with their private parts. <laughs> um, sorry, it's my headphone. Yeah, old fashioned, I know. But, um, you guys mean a lot to me. Um, you're always there for me when I need you. And you don't judge and you don't shove it off and act like it doesn't matter that just it's gonna go away. Because you aren't like that and I hope you guys know I'm always there for you as well I hope I've made that kind of clear and um you guys are all amazing writers like I'm so jelly jelly means jealous by the way um my friend Stephanie made it up and this is getting on my nerves okay um you're all like super gorgeous and I'm really jealous <laughs> um you guys, I don't really know how to explain it, like, <clears throat> it's just like, my feels, you know? <clears throat> you guys, like, you're my peoples, and like, the other day on the status, I was like, oh, my peoples are gone, I'm bored, and, cause you guys are like the only ones I talk to, <laughs> cause you matter the most to me, and like, I care about you guys, and, know if anything ever happened to you I'd probably like die and I wish you guys lived here because this town sucks <laughs> um I should have written this out I'm really awkward on camera but the sun is pretty and I wanted you to see the sun so I'm sorry for killing you with my ugliness and wild voice um yeah <laughs> Um, there's like, I don't know how to, you know, I just wanted you guys to know that you mean a lot to me and that I, like one day we're going to have to leave Quizaz and we're going to have to grow up and get past the fan fiction world and go out in the real world and deal with mean people who don't understand and we're not going to have quiz eyes to rely back on and to we're not going to have those people that we had to understand and be there for us and we're just going to have to learn how to deal with it and 
that day scares me because you guys mean the world to me and you're my friends. I mean, my friends here, they're just for being funny. They're never there for me and they don't care. They're just people to hang out with at school so I don't look like a loser. And one day we're going to have to grow up and we're going to have to leave Quizaz and we're going to be alone and I'm going to have to say goodbye to you guys and that day scares the crap out of me because you guys mean a lot to me and I don't know what I'd do without you and being without you would kind of suck. It'd be like losing a friend, like when Kirsten died in the story, it'd be like losing someone, and it would... It hurt. Most of my friends were seniors this year, my good friends, and that one guy, and I've already lost them. And they didn't... I mean, as much as I like him, he didn't mean as much to me as you guys do. He, you guys are more of a family than my family, like, more than my church, like, you guys are more of the best kind of family that I've ever known, like, so, like, when we grow up and we leave Quizaz and we move on with our lives, I just hope that you guys stay happy. I hope that you have amazing lives and that you find extraordinary friends that treat you the way that you deserve to be treated and that you realize how much you deserve and how much you're worth and um, I just hope that you guys have wonderful lives and that you always have smiles on your faces because you guys have gorgeous smiles and you need to keep them because I don't ever want to see you sad. I mean, I know you're going to be sad, but it sucks seeing your friends sad because you can't help it, you know? And back to the point. Um, We're all going to grow up, and we're going to have to leave, and I'm going to have to say goodbye to you guys, and you're going to have to say goodbye to me and everybody else. And No matter what happens in our lives from this point on, I just hope that you guys have success. I hope that Cassie becomes famous like she promised her parents. I hope that you guys live your dreams out. You guys mean more to me than One Direction does. <laughs> and if you know me, which I think you do, it's, that's a lot. <laughs> um, you guys are my best friends, and I just want to say thank you for being such a big part of my life and showing me what it's like to be cared about and not used and showing me what it's like to have real friends and really be happy and have someone understand you and not judge you and not care what you look like, what you sound like, cause they just care about your heart and you guys have been everything. I mean there's only one thing I wouldn't give up for you guys and that's God because He's been there for me through everything, and he's my God. <laughs> and I think God's working through you guys, and I just want to say thank you for being such a big part of my life and helping me to become the person that I am. I love you guys.